It's super hard to pick just one thing that I'm thankful for Pastor Castro for, but to sum up most of those feelings, I would say that I'm very thankful to him for always being a present uh, figure in my life. So one thing that I'm most thankful for towards Pastor is his desire to see people saved and his genuine burden for, for lost souls. One thing that I'm most thankful for as it concerns Pastor is uh, his servant leadership. I am most thankful for Pastor because he has a heart of a servant. And by that I mean he feeds the hungry and not talking about the scriptures. He literally reaches out to people in their need, in their time of need. Whether it be delivering the word on a regular basis, sharing a meal after church when I was eight years old and Ray and I would ask to go to Boston Pizza every single week, or simply being a ride to and from a service and uh, consistently drilling us about uh, different points during the service. I would say he's always been there and always a steady force as well. And the reason why I say that is the first time I met Pastor I was actually 13 years old. I was 13 years old and I was hanging out with friends in the area close by. And Pastor actually came and he was witnessing. And he actually invited me to church. And um, I remember Pastor actually encouraging us to come to church. It doesn't matter what your, your background is. And, and me, church was foreign to me. My parents didn't grow me up in church. Didn't have no history with church. Long story short, uh, we started off at the YMCA building, moved on to another building, into another unit, finally to Oklahoma, and then here to, to Notion Road. But why I say that is because it's been 25 plus years and I'm still, and I'm still at APC. Uh, just his humility and his example, not just in preaching, but in being an example in, in living the word to make it easier for us and just make himself human and relatable. And I believe that makes a humongous difference. He shelters them when they need protection. He serves their basic needs. And he's also hospitable to absolute strangers, not just those whom he knows. If I could say anything to encourage Pastor, it would be that as long as the message that you're hearing is coming directly from the Lord, none of the outside noise matters. Continue to live a life full of integrity walking with your head up in private as well as in public. I don't know what it is to, to be a pastor. I don't know what it is to be a counselor and to be a family man and to, to do weddings and to do funerals all at once and juggle seven or eight things. And so when I think about pastor, I think about all these things that he has to do. So what I would say to pastor to encourage him is, you know, I know sometimes things can be a little bit heavy. You're taking on a lot of stuff, but uh, I want to say that, you know, you're, you're appreciated, you're loved, and most importantly, you're supported by a lot of folks here at APC. So continue to be a man of God. Just keep on going. I know that, you know, being a leader sometimes can be a lonely experience, but just know that, you know, we're continuously praying for you. We believe that you are God's choice for this season, and you're able to fulfill everything that God has called you to in spite of the obstacles. In fact, it's the obstacles that are going to bring the confirmation that God has really called you to this assignment. Pastor, if I could encourage you in any way whatsoever, I want to say, continue being a servant. It is not the one who preaches the most, stomps his foot the most, speaks in tongues the most. It is those who serve his people whom he will reward with what he has prepared for them in his kingdom. So continue, sir, being a servant to God's people. If I could offer any encouragement to the ministers, it would be that you cannot pour from an empty vessel. So I believe that you should be seeking uh, on a consistent basis to fill your cup spiritually and emotionally first so that you can better serve your greater community continue to do what you're doing. I know being a, a minister is an integral part of the ministry, an integral part of the church. 
And so I know it's not a job where people pat you on the back and people say, good job. But I do know that there's a lot of work behind the scenes. And so I wanted to tell you guys to be uh, encouraged. Every single minister, you're appreciated and continue doing the, the good work of God. And God says in his word that he's not gonna forget the labor of love that you guys share and experience. You are so much more important than you can ever imagine. And I say this because a lot of times people look at a, a structure and they see it as a foundation. They see the, the humongous edifice, the, you know, the, the stature of it. And most people fail to remember that it's standing on pillars. And so if the pillars are weak, the structure is not able to stand. And I'm just saying these words just to encourage you ministers that you know, pastor continues to stand because you continue to stand in your place. And I just wanna encourage you to remember that all of your labor is not in vain and God will reward you in due time. To the ministers, I say this, if in any small way I can encourage you, look at Jesus, look at what he did when the woman was caught in the act of adultery. He never exposed her. He comforted her. He served her needs. He ministered to her needs. Zacchaeus, whom everybody disliked, was hiding. But Jesus sat with him, had dinner with him. He ministered to Zacchaeus' need. So adopt and possess the heart of a servant. Because if you do that, it will be well with you, your household, and you will certainly enjoy God's kingdom. Thank you.